Hey guys, Breaking RC here with a video on how to apply touch up paint to your car. Touch up paint is an exact color matched brush paint that you can use to hide defects on your paint. The whole purpose of touch up paint is not to make the finish look better, but it's to protect it. It's like a band aid for your skin. You're doing this to cover up the damage, but you also want to protect it from anything that could happen. So, for instance, if you're doing this on a metal part, like the hood or the fender, you can run the risk of rust. If you have an exposed area, with metal and there's no paint there you can run the risk of rusting it so in order to protect it from that you will apply touch up paint which will prolong the life of the metal part touch up paint can be used on small rock chips and other defects in the paint like i said you're mainly doing this to protect the metal underneath the paint because if you don't stop the rust from going on and you just leave it exposed you can run the risk of rust which will cause more damage to the car so if you just cover it up with touch up paint you should be good it's like a band-aid on your skin. You're using the band-aid to protect your skin from any diseases that you could get, but as long as you cover it up, you should be safe. In order to apply touch of paint onto your car, you're going to need a few things. In my case, I'm going to be using Toyota specific color match touch of paint, and you need to make sure that the touch of paint is the exact same color as your car's paint or else it won't look right. And then you're going to also need some sandpaper to help smooth out the finish, as well as compound and polish in the end so you can make the finish look perfect. Now in my case, I'm going to be working on this small rust spot right here. Now it looks small right now, but if I were to leave it there and not actually fix it, it could expand to the rest of the roof and cause permanent damage to the roof. The first step is going to be to sand the paint. In order to do this, you can start with 2000 grit, wet sandpaper, and just start sanding the area. What you want to do is actually roll up the sandpaper a little bit so you can focus in more just on that one area. And just do this so you can remove all the rust. But try to focus just on the rust spot and not the actual paint. It's fine if you get a little bit of sanding on the paint, you can remove it with buffing compound. Once you finish sanding, it should look something like this. As you can see, I've removed all of the rust in that area, and then I've also went around the area just a little bit to help smoothen out the finish. To apply the touch-up paint, you're just going to take a little bit of the touch-up paint on your brush, and then just apply a slight amount onto the paint. You only need enough to cover the surface, and make sure to spread it out to get an even surface. As you can see, the touch of paint is the same color as the rest of the car. Once you've applied the touch of paint, you want to give it about 15 minutes to dry between coats. Now, between coats, you want to sand the surface to make sure that you're getting the smoothest surface possible. After about three coats total, you want to go ahead and start buffing. This is how the finish looks once you've applied the touch of paint. As you can see, it's a little bit bumpy, but we're going to be able to remove that by sanding the finish. Once you've sanded it, it's going to be a lot smoother and that area that was rusted is now going to have black paint that's the exact same color as your car. Now we're moving on to compounding the paint. Now for this step, I'm using the compound and I have it on my machine, which is a dual action polisher. So now what I'm gonna do is take the polisher, go onto the paint and start spreading out the polish to get it evenly onto the finish and onto the pad. And here's the finished result of the touch of paint. As you can see, the touch of paint was right here and it's almost just as smooth as the paint. Since it's the same color as the paint, it actually blends right in and from far away around here, you can't even notice it. Now the paint will be protected and there will be no more reasons for it to rust in that specific area.